welcome to our fourth and final week in Tulum. This is gonna be a productive weekly vlog in Tulum. We had two friends come for a week during our three and a half-ish week stay and it's been a lot of partying and having fun and not being so on track with work and eating healthy and working out. So this week's gonna look a little bit different for this vlog. It's already like three o'clock today. I honestly slept in a bit, cleaned from a fun weekend. Our friend Mel flew back home yesterday. So today Steve and I have honestly been very antisocial with each other, just working and catching up. It is still sunny and gorgeous outside. So I just put on my bathing suit and I'm gonna go lay out for at least an hour and a half or so before my next Zoom meeting. I'm meeting with a graphic designer to make a logo for my social media agency that I am launching soon. So, go along for a fun week. We're gonna do some still like adventure things and go to the beach and whatnot, but it's gonna be kind of like a wellness week, if you will. My work day to the pool. The Wi-Fi still reaches out here, which is fantastic. Pretty much the ideal work day, if I do say so myself. Steven has joined. I hate having to go pick up giant jugs of water. Because you lift them? And you bring them to <laughs> Steven does. I can't have it, like they're so heavy, I can't lift them. Like a strong man to like take you. <laughs> things for you. One, two, two three, go! <laughs> oh. Mondays are usually really good for me though. I always have like tons of energy on Mondays. I love Mondays. Monday week that I, yeah. I always say I was born on a Monday and I'm like, I think it's the reason why I like it. <laughs> Like the gold and the greens, the gold and, the green, yeah. and then like the creams I think I put up top as well. It was a productive Monday. I worked all day and then Steven and I popped down to the pool to get some sun. I don't know how much sun I really got. There's Steven. <laughs> But I popped up upstairs to do a Zoom meeting with the graphic designer I'm working with for my social media agency's branding and logo. I just figured I'm only going to do my logo once, so I really want to do it right. And just with so many agencies and brands out there, I want a logo that stands out and is done really right. I don't, don't want just like a Canva font as my logo. So I'm doing it the right way and I'm so excited. She's talented and I think she's gonna do such a great job. So we did that and then by the time I got downstairs from my meeting, Stephen had made friends at the pool and they're all from Chicago and they're really sweet. So we have some new friends in the building, but we're starving. So we're gonna go grab some dinner because we have no groceries. So we're gonna go find us some dinner now. What they don't tell you when you get, get a gay bag Best friend is that your purse becomes our purse, and, purse. and all of his things now belong to me. <laughs> It's Tuesday. I don't even want to talk about what time I slept in till I had a glorious sleep last night. Steven and I, after our sushi dinner, just came home and flaked on the couch and just watched the new Bling Empire New York, which I love. I love Bling Empire. But this morning we are gonna go grab some breakfast at Rosina and head to a co-working space. Just have a productive work day. I have a meeting with a new potential client, which is exciting. Should be a great day. But we're sticking to our wellness week. We're gonna go for a nice long walk later. We didn't managed to do a workout this morning because I slept. We're gonna eat well, work hard, and get some movement in later. We're gonna go for a nice long walk, I think, but let's go have some breakfast. Today we try and be productive and go to the co-working space. The effing power went out in this entire town. There's no Wi-Fi to be found anywhere, including our apartment. So, and it's not even sunny. So we're just saying like we could go play by the pool, but we're not even really getting a tan. I mean, life could be worse. We're in Mexico, but like I really wanted to get some work done today. <sighs> News, not even 20 minutes later. Wi-Fi's back. I'm gonna go downstairs and work outside though, since we have less than a week left in Mexico. Just kidding, it started to downpour. Today is comical. Everything I try to do just doesn't work out for me. Two chickens working on the couch. I bet I look like a turtle. <laughs> turtle, turtle. 
potato, onion. So we're gonna do peppers with onion and potato with chicken, and then pesto pasta one night. How much? How many? Well. Maybe like four. All right, this is our little grocery haul for the week, and the theme is balance. Toast, cheese for grilled cheese, toast for breakfast, produce for breakfast and dinners, coconut milk for our coffees and cereals. We decided to try some Mexican chips. We think these are ketchup chips, which are Steven's favorite. Then we got some pasta for dinner tonight. I've been really craving noodles, so I got noodles. We got some yogurt with granola, salad. Desperately needed some body lotion. My grandma loves Lubriderm, so I picked this up. And pesto, we're gonna make some pesto pasta. Making some dinner. Tonight we're going for some pesto pasta. I'm gonna put some roasted garlic in it with chicken. And then just like an oil and vinegar salad. Yummy, I'm starving. That's the final product. Looks very green, but We'll see. Oh my God. Steve and I were just sitting on the couch and the power went out not once, but twice. And it's like pitch black. And we're like, no data, no TV, no nothing. We're like, we have to talk to each other. <gasps> Fresh out the shower, I hair masked. I am slugging. And now we're going to eat some chocolate and watch some Netflix. We put on The Scratch. From Scratch. Oh. <laughs> from, scratch. from The Scratch on Netflix. It's supposed to be like a cute little feel good show. So that's what we're feeling for our wellness week. Update, this show is making us feel very single. Very single. <laughs> I'm gonna miss my mornings out here, just relaxing and journaling. I've gotten so used to it. Here, three more. Just switching on those glutes. Little post Pilates breakfast, literally doing plain yogurt, banana, and this like mixed granola. Now off to find a coffee, an iced latte. I found the cheapest and best latte in Aldi Azama, so I'm gonna go there. And I'm listening to a podcast. I'm gonna go for a nice little walk. Mariana Hewitt, her podcast, and it's on like hormone balancing, which is very relevant for those of us with PCOS. So something I really wanna focus on in the next few months. He said he was going for a walk. <laughs> Sitting having a coffee. This is the spot I found the cheapest and best coffee. Maya XL by Jaguar Negro. Very good coffee if you come here. I was gonna go back to that mango co-working space today, but I decided I can do that in Canada. So I'm gonna work poolside today instead so I can enjoy the warm weather to the fullest. So I came upstairs for a little meeting with a new potential client and I have a new client, yay! Now I have more work to do. <laughs> I have to send her over a strategy and Steve and I were planning on vegging out at the beach the next two days. So it looks like I'll be working in the evenings, which is fine, do it for the beach. But yeah, I'm really excited to be growing out a social media agency. We're launching that next month. We have a new client, it's gonna be good stuff. I've also been putting together my UGC portfolio because I got some emails for UGC. I was reaching out to influencers as well today because we're offering a package to repurpose vertical video over from Instagram and TikTok to YouTube Shorts because YouTube Shorts is becoming monetizable as of February 1st. So exciting stuff is happening for all. I'm pumped. Today's been a great work day. I've been working on the UGC portfolio, but Steven's waving at me from the pool to come and join him. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, he's right there. So I go take a break and get some sunshine. There he is, waving at me to come and join him. Lonely man in the pool. No regrets coming out here. I need to get like a, a solid tan before I leave, guys. Like, Jesus. I've been here for almost a month. And I'm still not a lot of color. Tonight's dinner, we're doing potato and chopped peppers, onions. Steven's got. He wants to make garlic bread. With toast. That's his contribution. It's not done yet. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look high end, I swear. And chicken. We're doing chicken as well. Decided to bring dinner down to the pool. We actually haven't eaten out here this entire trip. That's their dinner and Steven's weird garlic bread. <laughs> Oh, bless. These are our normal chats. I just asked Steven if I got married, what kind of 
dress does he think I'd wear? I feel like you could go two different ways. You could go like kind of like fitted. I don't know what the right term is. It fitted with a little bit of like a poof, poof perhaps on the legs. Like a princess or, dress. Or I could see like tight sort of corsetty, but then like really like large and flowy, like a little mm -hmm. train moment. I think you would like. Mm -hmm. I think you would want like subtle but drama. I want like classic, but like wow. Like I I don't want like. like you want you don't you don't want you want to make sure that your dad doesn't have enough space to walk down the aisle. Basically, I want a lot of yeah. dress. I want there to be a lot of dress. Yeah. What would you see me in? <laughs> I feel like you'd go for like a unique tux. Like something very dapper but not boring. Like it has to have a little bit of something. You know how you can even do like the little initials on, on your sleeves? Mm -hmm. Like I could see like an S like in like like really nicely done like Swarovski or something. And my like <laughs> initials. <laughs> did. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Satin lapel. But I think I would still want to do like tux and like high class somewhere like a classier suit i don't think i want to be like in a farm or like a beige suit or something i think i want to be a little more like formal. i feel like it'll still be black i, I, mean, I like the idea of white like a white oh yeah or something like that'd or be me, cute like me white like the bride and then, like, <laughs> and then him in the black my partner that's probably gonna be like 10 times smaller than me. I'm wearing black you <laughs> i look like a weird orb <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i look like kai you look like Oh my god, do it again. What's your face? <laughs> I don't even know how. Just like that. <laughs> Just went to the grocery store because we're feeling snacky. Got Diet Coke and regular Coke for Steven. Oreos. These chocolate cookies of some sort. They're French. Product of France. <coughs> Steven got a Kit Kat. I got the Lint dark chocolate with sea salt, which is my favorite one. And then we also picked up these Mexican gummy bears and Mexican party mix, it looks like. Clearly are indulging. We're also back to our show from scratch, which we love, but makes us feel very single. <laughs> Hello, it's Thursday. Today, our plan was to go to the beach. But we woke up and it was kind of like this. I'll zoom in dark dark clouds truthfully i wasn't feeling a hundred percent either i learned in mexico like my stomach is usually not very sensitive i'm not drinking the water but i'm so sensitive to the food or something it makes me feel nauseous like i've been taking nausea nausea pills basically like every day i've been here since it was overcast steven and i just wow. worked like all day i finished up my ugc portfolio i'll show you guys in a second it's like three o'clock now so we're like, you know what? Let's go out. There's this place called Burrito Amor. It's like one of the most popular places in Tulum and we've been here almost a month. So we figured let's go for a walk and go check it out and get these very famous burritos because when in Rome or when in Tulum, do as the Romans do. <laughs> this is the UGC portfolio I was talking about. We got video, skincare, makeup, hair, fashion, lifestyle, and photo. Turned out okay. Stopped for a quick smoothie and I got a little juice at Matcha Mama. It's the cutest little smoothie and smoothie bowl place in Tulum. If you come here, it's a must. They have one in Al Diazama and then one in the hotel district as well. I felt like I needed a celery juice. I wasn't even gonna get a smoothie, but this is calling my name. This is the downtown strip. We got a sweaty walk home and picked up Diet Coke. There's literally no better sound than this. Oh. oh, the best form of ASMR. So refreshing. Coca Cola light, <laughs> Coca Cola normal, and Coca Cola zero. Unfortunately, we have another rainy day on our hands. Okay, so this was supposed to be our wellness week. We were supposed to go to the beach yesterday and today, but it's still gloomy and rainy. And if I'm honest, I haven't been feeling the greatest. Yesterday, I had the D word. And today, I got the biggest period of my life. So, just not feeling super fine. But Steve and I are gonna go out for a coffee. I promise you this vlog's gonna get more entertaining as we go into the weekend. 
So hang on tight. But yeah, we're gonna go grab ourselves a coffee for now. We found a cute rooftop, and we're curious why we haven't been here before. All right, it is Saturday. I didn't want to bother vlogging the rest of yesterday because it was very uneventful. I had really painful period cramps. We kind of went around, so we went out for a bit. I honestly stayed in and watched this like Leighton Meester movie on Netflix about our friend getting killed on vacation. Pretty good, actually. But today we're going to run to car and we're going to play Adele Carmen to check it out. So very last week is our last weekend. I am so sad. But I was laying in bed last night and I realized a couple things. So if you're new here, I live in Vancouver. I've lived in Vancouver for seven years. And in November, I put my apartment in storage because my landlords like kicked me out and the housing in Vancouver was just so crazy. I just felt, and I had been feeling for like a couple years that I just wasn't enjoying Vancouver very much anymore. It's really hard to date there. It's expensive. And nothing was really tying me to that city other than like my friends who are all like in relationships and like doing their thing and busy with their lives. So I decided since I work remote to try the digital nomad life. So this officially has been my first month as a digital nomad. And this is what I'm missing about Canada, Vancouver, and what I've also learned, being off on my own with no rent in Vancouver, etc. Okay, so first things first, as a girly girl, I have found it quite difficult to, ooh, that is too dark. Back to what I was saying. As a girl, girly, girly girl, I've definitely found it hard to live out of a suitcase and a sense of my beauty spot products specifically. I've had a challenge with. I really like having options. I really like having pro different products for different skin concerns. I love makeup to play with. So living with like only one option of everything I don't necessarily love. And then like for example just like re-wearing the same shoes with every outfit. Like I just kind of like having options. So I miss Canada in that sense. This is kind of an obvious one but I just miss like people understanding me. Like the language barrier is kind of tough. Being in Mexico, I am going to London, England for a month this year, so I won't have an issue there. But, you know, it's just easier to connect with people when there isn't a language barrier, although most people visiting here do speak English. I do miss that. Vancouver-wise, I really miss the seawall. I actually get in way more steps living in Vancouver than being in Mexico or living anywhere else because my morning routine in Vancouver is to just get up and go for a seawall walk. Getting 10,000 steps is like so easy, but I'll get like 15,000 steps regularly when I live there. And it's just so beautiful and like inspiring. Our Airbnb here isn't actually very close to the beach, so there's nowhere like inspiring to go for a walk, if you will. I've gone for a walk a few mornings, but I can't say I'm in love with walking all Diazama. I also miss some of my favorite restaurants, like on Fridays. If I ate well, I would usually go to this bakery in Yelltown called Angus Tea and go get a croissant. I do quite miss that. But I mean, food-wise, the food here has been so good, so I can't really say like I'm dying to be back in Vancouver for the food scene. I can't say I'm missing Vancouver a whole ton just yet, but I do miss Canada for like the little luxuries too, like being able to order Uber Eats, like the night I got here, it was like 10 p.m. and there's nothing to do. Grocery stores weren't open, there was no delivery, I just went to bed starving. Like we're just not used to that in Canada anymore. I definitely don't miss dating in Vancouver. Guys here are much more friendly and like willing to talk to you on a night out. I know it's kind of like vacation mode as well since it's like a vacation spot. It has been nice to get approached by guys again and guys are eager on dating apps here as well. Might actually meet up with one tonight. We'll see. It's gonna be our last night out tonight so I think Steven and I are both gonna invite, invite some guys out. I guess otherwise the only other obstacle I've really had in living in Tulum as a digital nomad, like I've been lucky with like strong Wi-Fi. Um, the only thing is I do like UGC, use of gener generated content, and one of my contracts need to send me a product. And you can't send packages to Mexico because they get 
stolen. So that was an obstacle for sure. So I had to like get in their good graces and hope that they'd wait till early February, which I'm going back home to my hometown because they sent the product to my dad's house, which I was kind of hoping to go to like Cali or Texas next, but like I signed up, signed a contract, like I need to do it and Tulum was so expensive. So I just decided to go and save some money for a few weeks living at my dad's as well. But yeah, those are kind of like the hurdles, the highs and lows about being on this trip, but I'm gonna finish getting ready so we can go get a car and go to Playa del Carmen. We got ourselves a little car car. It's really cute. <laughs> it's nothing special, but it's gonna get us to play Del Carmen, which is the whole point. But we're excited to have a little bit of freedom the next couple days. We have it for three days. They have a three day booking minimum, and it was about like $300 Canadian. Started off with some off roading. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a basic bitch. I'm so suburban. <laughs> I love my stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So we parked at a mall in Playa del Carmen oh my God, and since we are going out tonight and I might meet up with a boy I'm kind of like I could use something cuter to wear so we might just pick up something really quick. I found this little black top. I just thought with a denim skirt, it would be cute. Flattering, so we're going for this one. Laura, I've been dying for new beauty products. Yee! I am out of a cleanser, and this is a Sephora bestseller, so I decided I'm gonna try this one. Okay, so I ended up finding a mini version of the soy face cleanser, which is better for travel. And then I also found the brow freeze, which I really been wanting to try, especially for my product review page on TikTok. I'll add the TikTok right here so you can follow. But yeah, I'm excited to try this. I know it's like not new, but I was using the Refi brow and I really didn't like it. So this is next on my list. So much shopping. We set up shop at a little corner cafe. We're gonna sit here and people watch for a little bit. And I'm impatient, so I have to try this brow freeze. I'm gonna try the brow freeze. I have nothing on my brows, and I'm very eager to try, so. I don't know why I'm so excited. I think it's because one of my favorite bloggers, her name is Jordan Sloan. She's been wearing this for like years and like swears by it, and she has awesome brows. Need a pluck like two weeks ago. Don't you like love it when a product is like brand new? Ooh. Okay, they gave me a spoolie as well. Oh, I need that much. Oh, not really the best tutorial, is it? Oh, it's definitely got some great hold. See, like Refi Brow did not have this much hold. So I am thrilled. I'm happy to pay good money for a product if it works. I need to trim my brows a bit, but then I just... Oh, I'm obsessed. Woohoo! That looks kind of crazy. But it definitely works. Holy shit. It's a little bit crazy. It should dry a little more clear, but overall, the hype definitely is real. Lunch is served. Del Carmen after lunch and we're debating between a pool or a beachfront hotel where they just have these little beach chairs and we ended up at the Fives Resort. They have this gorgeous rooftop and it was 700 pesos for the afternoon. You just use that towards food and drink 
I mean, drinks are cheap here in comparison to Tulum. I like margarita or cocktails only 140 pesos, whereas in Tulum it's like three up to like 500 pesos. So it's actually gonna be more alcohol than I thought. Um, so we're just gonna have like an early dinner, late lunch here in a bit and sip on some cocktails and swim and get some sun. It was just really windy down at the beach, so that's why we decided to come here. And it's just very luxe. We just got back from Playa del Carmen. We had such a nice afternoon at that rooftop. We are tired, but it's our last like night out in Tulum. We live Tuesday, but like it's Saturday. We're not gonna go out Sunday. We're not gonna go Monday. So we're trying to rally, we're tired, but we're gonna go get some Prosecco. I don't know, we didn't drink all week and I'm just craving Prosecco. I just can't be bothered with any more tequila drinks <laughs> after a month in Mexico, so we're gonna rally and have a fun night tonight. We literally just went through a pros and cons list of going out and we said, fuck it, let's just go. Pray for us. We're back. Don't know what kind of Prosecco this is, but. Woo! Steven! Ice because the Prosecco was not chilled at the store. But we're not fancy, so it's okay. We're we ready! Also, Forever 21 come through. I haven't shopped there in a hundred years. Look how cute this little top actually turned out to be. Very flattering, very cute. I'm into it. First things first, picked up ourselves coffee. We're on our way to Jessica. So it's the next day. Last night was very fun. We went to Papaya Playa Project, which is kind of like the Saturday night place to be. It was busy. We met boys from Italy, we met boys from Austria, and then Texas. We're just not like in love with the music here, but we're happy we went out, we had a good night, and then still made it home and got a decent sleep. And now we're just making our way to a cenote, which I've only been to one and it wasn't like an amazing cenote, so before we leave, I really wanted to go to one. But we just picked up Starbucks and we're gonna make our way to a cenote, do like a little adventurous relaxed day because we're leaving and going back to Canada soon. Got to Casa Tortuga. Casa Tortuga. And apparently there's like four cenotes here. So we're gonna be little tourists today. Okay, today was a bit of an adventure. Stephen and I wanted to go like chill by a cenote and it very much so ended up being a cenote club with like techno music that we were not into. That was interesting. So we came home and just relaxed for a bit and now we're just getting ready. We're gonna go some, have something to eat and we are both going on little dates afterwards. So there's that. I was supposed to meet up with this guy last night. He was gonna meet us out at the bar and he didn't answer my texts for two hours. Why am I going? Don't know. But I really feel like I should at least go on one date he like texted me, he was so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And I literally said to his face, I was like, you're giving F boy vibes. And he was like, no, 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 like I promise I'm not. My Wi-Fi cut out, I don't have a SIM card yet, blah, blah, blah. He was tired because he just flew in. And I was like, okay, but we've talk been talking for a week. You failed to, you know, let me know about all this. So we're gonna give him one chance and one chance only tonight. Okay, this is the final look. I just did like, a black wrap dress, natural makeup. I don't think guys like it, especially for first dates when you get like too dolled up, so I always go for a very natural. But Steve and I are gonna go grab something to eat and then we're off to meet boys. Our little date night fit. And not with each other. For spice. once, we are not dating each other. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Good morning. I didn't bring my camera out. Obviously, I was on a date. But Steven and I grabbed dinner and then I went literally across the street to meet up with this guy for a drink. And honestly, it was a lovely date. He was like a really genuine, nice guy and like successful and kind of checked quite a few boxes. But he just got out of a seven year relationship. It's like selling his house with his ex. So, but I think we'll keep in touch. He's from London and I'm going there for a month in April. So, you know. It's our last day, but I'm ending the vlog here. Last day in Tulum. If you enjoyed our Tulum adventures, my first glimpse into digital nomad life, make sure to subscribe because there's 
lots to come. Check out my socials here. I have Instagram. I have a personal TikTok page where I do like vlogs and stuff. And then I also have a TikTok page where I do beauty reviews, skincare, makeup, all that fun stuff. But yeah, if you want more tea on the date and or if we keep in touch or my future dating endeavors, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.